Hello everyone, Pally Time here with TGN.TV. This is the continuation of my Dark Souls Season 2 series. We are in the catacombs right now. And we will be applying my crystal magic weapon enchant. And then heading on down yet again into the catacombs. I'm joined with my good friend today, Tapwater. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing like tap water. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna take my shortcut down here again. Since uh, I don't have to go through the areas I haven't explored yet. Although we are gonna have to come down here th for some stuff. For instance, there's a blacksmith down here that I didn't even know about my first playthrough. He does, I think, the fire ember shit. F fire and maybe chaos? I don't really know much about the chaos stuff, but... Yeah. Oh my god. I just got fucking parried. By a goddamn skeleton. Alright, gonna make my way down after I kill him again. Well, yeah, homie. What are you doing over there, you silly little ghost? Oh, that sucks, bro. That sucks. White titanite chunk. Those are actually fairly rare. Soul of a proud knight. Now, I don't even know how to get most of this stuff down. I don't know how to get most of the stuff down here, so like those items across over there that you can just kind of see floating around, no clue how to get them. So I'm not going to worry about it, but for right now, let's put hidden body on. This was a mistake. Yeah. That was one of those things where the moment you do it, you know, oh, this was, this was not good. I'm go. I'm going to regret this decision. Ah, no problem though. No problem. I always have a hard time with that area. I remember coming down here on the first time with that fake character and like shitting bricks when I saw all those fucking pinwheel guys coming at me. But he was so fucking tanky that it didn't even matter. Ouch. Shortcut, 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 where is that? It's right here. Man, it's a good thing I'm Jump Master Pally time. <laughs> Otherwise, this would be terrible. All right, full health. I'm take a right soon, right here. Oh! Oh, that could have been a lot worse. That could have been a lot worse. Wow. I fell straight from the top down into that fucking hole. Now, I think if I just chill here, these guys will group up. And I might be able to kill them all with this homing crystal mass. Maybe. Well, that was wasted. Well, you try hidden body again. And then I'll do like a plunging attack here or something. Well, that worked. Surprisingly well. Oh, <laughs> they don't know what to do when you come in here with hidden body. Those exploding skulls? They're like, wait, wait a minute. There's something going on here. There's the necromancer so we can actually kill this shit now. What's this way? What happens if you go this way? Leads back here. Okay. All right, back down. We're gonna kill the pinwheel demon, which I honestly don't see being that difficult to do. Come on, blow up. Kill the pinwheel with that one. Let's see if I can get another one. Missed. 
Two more pinwheels to go. Fuck. Fuck! You guys hear that? It's the blacksmith. Yeah, we'll go get him before this video is done, I think. I think we'll have plenty of time. I'm gonna have to work my way back through the catacombs, but I'm not too worried about that. I took a lot of shortcuts to get down here. This was certainly not a completionist run. Okay, traversing through the light, we are going to... I wonder if cast light would have any effect here. I don't think it will, but you never know. You never know. All right. Alright, dual wield, let's go! LOL! <laughs> Dude, if I had power within on, that would've one-shot that guy. Mask of the Mother. Oh, that's funny. One of the three masks of the pinwheel of pinwheel, uh, the necromancer who stole the power of the grave lord and reigns over the catacombs. This mask belongs to the kindly mother. Slightly raises HP. Not a bad looking thing. Not great, but man, that was funny. Fuck, that was really funny. So normally, I really, 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 really hate this place, but we can see this time because of cast light. So I'm totally okay with it. I remember uh, back in season one, I had like an hour long episode just because I wanted to get out of here. I really, really hated ouch, the catacombs. Or not the catacombs, but the Tomb of the Giants. I hated it so much. I'm s I was so scared of this place. Like, not saying, oh, I was, I was scared. It's so terrifying. I was legitimately scared of this place. What do you got back here? Soul of a Prowler Knight. Because at this point, uh, we actually wouldn't have any way to see down here, would we? Because we don't have the lantern yet. So we would be down here blind, just stumbling across these eyeballs floating in front of us, and those eyeballs would fucking uh, be giant skeletons. That's terrifying, in my opinion. I don't like that one bit. Good day. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? No. No? Really? Hmm. Then I'd have no qualms telling you. There's a fine stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first, but, well, we're friends now. So I'll split it with you. In any case, have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> so, I should kill this guy. I really should. I don't like him. 
But for the sake of seeing his dialogue, I think he goes back to the Firelink Shrine, and I want to see the remainder of his dialogue, so I'm not going to kill him. But I am going to rest here, and I am going to kindle the flame a few times. I'll use all my humanity. I don't want to kill Grave Lord Nido yet, because we just joined his covenant. That seems like a dick thing to do. Seems like a really dick thing to do, actually. <laughs> Hey, thank you for allowing me into your covenant and giving me this sword and this amazing spell. I'm gonna kill you now, okay? Yeah, I, I do want to kill this guy. Every inclination in me wants to kill that guy, but I'm gonna let him live just so he can see his dialogue back at the Firelink Shrine, which is where I think he goes. That's where I think he goes. Now, if memory serves... This is the way back up. This arrow's coming from way over there, too. Not gonna be much I can do about that. I think I'm just going to let him stay there. <laughs> um, we can go into this next area. Which is fucking hard. I lost a lot of souls down here once. I'm just going to do Hidden Body, Crystal Magic Weapon, and Homing Soul Mass. And hope for the best. That was a lot easier this time. <laughs> oh, this room was so hard on my faith character. I guess we're not out of it yet. Oh, here we go. Now it gets interesting. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, this room is still hard. <laughs> but this is where you get the large Divine Ember, which allows you to put your faith weapons up to, um, was it 10? I think it's 10. So if you, or Divine Weapons, excuse me. So if you're doing a faith build and you wanted to scale some weapons up, that would be where you get that Ember at. I hit that on accident. <laughs> uh, one thing I want to do before this video ends is go save that cleric. So it's cast light. And we're going to head down this way. This way I just unlocked on accident. Hey, weird scary things. I forgot I need to let him wiggle. I need to let him get all their little jitters out. Little jitters. <laughs> now, 
don't. I like a one shot him. One shotting also works, apparently. White Titanite Chunk. Hey! Oh, hey, what's up? These are, you may recognize them, these are the bodyguards that kept the, uh, bad parry. One moment. These are the bodyguards that protected the cleric and white back at the Fire League Shrine. You banished those two hollows, did you? It pains me to think of the trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. Here, these belonged to them. You deserve them more than I. Pleasure. I am certain that both Vince... Thank you. So now that we've talked to her, normally you would talk to her first. You wouldn't go down the secret hallway first. But now that we've talked to her, um, she should get out of here. She'll make her way back up to the top. Those clerics came down here to seek out the right of kindling, which was that um, thing we got for killing the pinwheel boss. And I guess they had a little bit of trouble along the way. That guy up top hates clerics. And he actually pushed them into this area. I'm not sure how her followers there became hollow. But obviously they did. And we killed them now. So she has no protectors left. And as I said earlier, if she went back to the fire link and that, that guy we killed earlier was still there, he would then kill her. And like go insane. Like, he goes fucking crazy after he does it. I don't know why. So I don't want her to die. That's why we came down here. But okay. So. Um, I think we're going to teleport out of here. I don't want to do this place yet. So I'm going to level up. Points into a dexterity, or maybe endurance. Nah, dexterity. We'll do dexterity. And then we're going to warp out. We're going to go to the Firelink Shrine. There's an area in this game that I didn't even know existed. I just want to check it out. I didn't even know it was there. I want to see what it's all about. My friend got down there and told me there was another Hydra down there. And also, apparently, that's where you join the Dragon Hunter Covenant. Like, it's a group of... It's a covenant you join to do PvP... And for rewards, you get... Why did I jump? Okay, we're fine. And for rewards, you get... Um, you get... Um, uh, dragon scales? Yeah, dragon scales. To level up your weapons and stuff. And I guess your armor and all that. I've never even been down there. I didn't know it existed. So I'd, I want to check that out. I want to see what all that's about. So we need to go back down to Blight Town in order to do that. I don't know how hard this area is or anything, so I don't know if I'm going to be stuck here or whatever. Okay, for the end. I didn't check to see if that guy 
actually goes to the Firelink Shrine. I'm pretty sure he does. Here. You know, I actually want to see... I might go to the Demon Ruins. I think the Demon Ruins would be kind of fun right now. I don't have enough arrows for the Demon Ruins. But that's no big deal. I'll do that next. I want to check out this place. Rest here. I don't think I ever got that scale back here, did I? We might as well get it, just to have it. Yeah, I never got it. Dragon scale. Whenever I used to come through here, there used to always be a sign that said, Beware of Dark Wraith buy that buy that treasure chest. I always wondered why that was. Never really made a lot of sense to me. I'm uh, gonna need that poison removal stuff. How much of that do we have sitting around? Five. I think that'll be okay. We're gonna make our way to the left here. Fun trick, if you don't want to put the rusted iron ring on, but you still want to move through here at a decent pace, you can just continue to swap out your weapons. Ouch. And that, uh, that'll allow you to sprint. So I'm holding down sprint, swapping my weapons, and you can see your stamina doesn't decrease at the same rate that it normally would. So, get rid of this poison. Drink all one up. Illusory wall ahead. That's what I was counting on. Plank shield. Roll through this. And there's this chest. Twin humanities. And then we can roll through this as well. And this apparently leads to some area that I didn't even know was here. I think I knew about... I did know about those two secret uh, walls. But I didn't know where this fucking led. But I'm very interested. Oh, there's a bonfire here as well. Convenient. We'll go ahead and rest here. Oh, this looks like a pain in the ass. But all right, guys, that's going to be it for me today. In the next video, we're going to venture down into this unknown world and see what it has to offer. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button below. Leave me a comment down below as well. And if you're new here, I encourage you to subscribe. I'll be back very soon with more videos, and I hope to see you all then.